never give up. We never give up. And this is it. So how are you feeling now? Oh my god. I feel amazing. At first I was shocked, but I I just I was so shocked and all I could think about was how everything was like I was doing so much that was wrong and finally I just got a got a chance to express myself. Looking forward to Cornell College now. Are you you're you're ready for that? You know, Cornell College is a very big school. Yes. You're you're ready to take on that yes. challenge as well. Yes. Honestly, I'm just overwhelmed. I am proud of Dan Farrell. You're getting really <laughs> yeah. when you heard about him passing to Cornell College. I know you said you're overwhelmed. I was at work. A teacher called me. If I'm feeling good, I said I'm okay. And she was like, you, you don't hear, but I didn't know that the results were out. And she said, Don Farrell is going to Carnot. And I just screamed out in the shop. Everybody was looking at me. He's been doing a lot. Even sometimes he come from school, I'd ask him, Don Farrell, you get homework? No, mommy. But I'm not the kind of person who is going to take no. Because he says no. Right. I went into his bag, look into his books. There are homeworks, there are lying. Need to be done. So from there, and I realized that I need to put my foot down. Because if I didn't, apart from him having his brain to do what he needs to do, I had to be behind him, pushing him so he could reach this far. I just sit down on the bench and start looking out of space. I couldn't do nothing else. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I couldn't do nothing else. More than just sit on my mates. Everything I did I do all this time. And I just <laughs> make this comeback. I just finally come back and do something good for myself. Finally. I just... Oh. Like every all I waited in the on my shoulder just drop. Everything. Stress gone. Everything. Everything. I just feel free. You feel, feel free. Light again. All I problem are everything gone. It reached a point where I honestly I got because talking to him over the years instead of he was doing better he was there's always another thing coming so I decided to go to the family court right which I needed to get counseling and help and if it wasn't gonna working and he's not I'd rather to see him go to the a center or something rather than stay here and he might not make it you understand what i mean so that that's where the family court came in what was the relationship like with your, with your daddy hmm. his father ever <laughs> his father ever I could talk to him about anything reason with him he showed me how to do things told me that i had to be independent Never let me do things on my own. He was always there keeping my I'm just happy as I said, extremely happy. And word out there to the other parents with their children who are given problem. You just have to stand behind them. Stand behind them and if there is a case that you need help, you reach out for help in that term. Sometimes you have to give them a little tough love for them to, right. to step up. I want to reach out to my teachers, Mrs. Clark Powell, yes, Mrs. Please. Finley, and my and my other teachers from grade five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Miss Miss Mrs. Davis from grade one. I reach out to you and I say thank you for caring for me for so long. Mrs. Bedford, I thank you for your hard work. I thank Mrs. Allen from grade three from 
for all of her efforts that she put out. Mrs. Jarrett Walters, who kept me going, she was just uh, always behind my back. And Mrs. Grandstand, who gave everything. No matter how I tried, she always was in my corner. And my grade six teachers, Mrs. Clark Paul and Mrs. Finley, I thank you very much. I hope that you're extremely proud of me for the heights I have reached. My mother was always in my corner. Um, she was just like my father, but just a, just a tougher role model. Always behind me, keeping me. She, she just couldn't stand seeing me getting misled. Right. She couldn't. She couldn't. Every time she realized I was coming out of track, she just, she just, if even if it's, it's it, even if it's the simplest thing, she wants me to stay, stay in the right path. She don't want me to get misled by anything. So I thank her for that. And also, I extremely, I'm extremely thankful to, to my stepfather, who he was one of. He is the biggest role model in my life. He always played the role of respecting my mother and showing respect to me. Never, he, he, if my mother can't do something, he always finds a way, but he never goes out of his way to do anything wrong to help me in my part. And I give thanks to him. I'm extremely glad that he's here within my life. I am so thankful. And I reach out to my big brother, best big brother ever. I will say to you all that don't be stressed. Just try to focus on the work. Try to keep calm, work it out. Always find new strategies in helping yourself because there's no one way to life. You will always find a way to just get around. You just have to search for it. It won't just come rushing down on you like like it's it's there it's magic it's just gonna it's not just gonna fall out of the roof and drop on you you have to search for it never throw your towel in always get up when you're going to fall or you even just stay firm before you even fall so that's the advice i give